Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So we're gonna be talking about five cool After Effects tricks, you know, trick or treat here instead of After Effects. And I love doing these type of videos because I'm very unoriginal. But in all seriousness, I love doing these videos because it's just a cool way to talk about a handful of cool techniques that can be implemented for a wide range of projects. So you can implement all five of these techniques we're gonna talk about in this video into one project, or you can use a couple of them throughout your entire After Effects career on different types of projects. So let's go ahead and take a look at some really cool techniques and without wasting any more time, let's jump into our tutorial. So for our very first technique, we're gonna talk about creating seamless titles. All right, so for our first technique, I'm gonna show you how we can create a seamless title background like we do here, and it's very easy to do this. So, so once you have a title in here, what I like to do is go up to Edit, Duplicate, and we'll come here to our character window and there's this little swap icon right here we'll go ahead and click on that and that will make our title stroke if you want just a stroke width there's a value right here uh, mine's just set to three okay so it's very easy so then what we want to do is go up to layer pre-compose and we'll call it title we'll call it title repeat then we'll go back into that composition we'll go, we'll go up to composition and click on composition settings and we'll bring down the width and the height to match the full width of the title, kind of like this. And click OK. Amazing. And then we'll go back into our main composition. And we'll go up to Effect, Stylize, and we'll grab Motion Tile. And from here, we'll go to Output Width and Output Height and just increase those. And now we have a seamless title background that obviously makes our main title stand out because we have our original title right here. So for our second technique, we're gonna take our titles and be able to flicker them. So for our second technique, I wanna be able to create a title that flickers randomly. So it's very easy to do this. We'll go into our main title here. And as before, we'll duplicate this title and we'll come here to the bottom layer and we'll swap that stroke there. So now we'll all have that stroke, you know, as before, awesome. Okay, and then we'll go back into our top layer, we'll open this up, go to animate, and we'll add an opacity. And we can lower the opacity down to 0%. We'll open up range selector, and where it says randomize order, set this to on. Close that tab up, and we'll set our offset to 80%, and we'll all click the stopwatch, and we'll type in wiggle, open parenthesis 2, comma 40, close parenthesis just like that. And now our title will be flickering kind of like this, and that's pretty cool. And we can set our opacity up to maybe like 20%, so at least there'll be some resemblance of a title there. But this is how we can quickly create a nice flicker title. And if you want to make it faster, we can set our first number to a higher value. So we can do like 4. And that'll be just flickering a little bit more. And that's cool. And before we move on, I want to give a huge shout out to the very best After Effects and Premiere Pro templates. So if you're looking to save a tremendous amount of time and produce high quality work, I highly recommend taking a look at my favorite After Effects and Premiere Pro templates is all here on one page, which I will drop this link in the video description below. And these templates range from transitions to animation presets, motion graphic templates to titles, and tons of other amazing assets. So if you want to check out some of the best After Effects and Premiere Pro projects, that link will be in the description. So for our third After Effects trick, we're going to go ahead and create a seamless background. This is very easy to do. What we'll do is come here to the top, we'll grab the rectangle tool, Make sure you click on the word fill and set this to solid color, click OK. Click on the word stroke, make sure that's set to none and click OK. And we'll click on our fill color and we'll change this to a color that's just slightly variated from our background. So like a gray color. So what we'll do here is we'll create a really long rectangle like this. And we'll go to rectangle one here in our shape layer, go to transform rectangle one and set the rotation to 45 degrees. Nice. Then what we'll do is come here to add and we'll add a repeater. We'll open repeater one open up transform repeater one where it says position go ahead and increase that until we get gaps which is right there and we increase our number of copies cool and now what we'll do is we'll grab the selection tool and we'll put this right here and then we'll just hit PR keyboard for position come in here beginning of our timeline add a keyframe for position we'll move forward to the end of our timeline and we'll simply just move this over like that so now Perfect, we have a little bit of nice animation there. We'll go ahead and put this layer on top of our background. And if we want to adjust, you know, how thick this is or whatever, we go here to contents, go to rectangle one, go to rectangle path one, break the chain for size, and we can make it a little bit smaller. Go back into the repeater one, go into the transform repeater one, and just readjust the position, you know, as we see fit here. So just a cool way to create a quick, seamless background very easily. For our fourth technique, we're gonna create a line animation that adds more detail to our composition. All right, so for our fourth technique, I wanna be able to create a random 
line animation that will go across our composition very quickly and this is very easy to do we'll grab the pen tool click on the word fill and set this to none click ok click on the word stroke set this to solid color and click ok and we'll come here we'll click a point and we'll start drawing a random path it doesn't have to be perfect it doesn't matter what it is it's got, it has to just be random and i'll call that a day so that's one random stroke in our new shape layer then we'll open up the shape layer we'll go to add and we're going to add a trim paths okay we'll open up trim paths and we'll set our end percent to zero okay then we'll add a keyframe for start and we'll move forward by a few frames add a keyframe for end and we'll move forward you know by a few seconds we'll set the start up to 100 percent and then we'll set our end to 100 percent and then of course to make all these keyframes easy easy keyframes by hitting f9 on our keyboard so now we'll have a line that just randomly goes across our composition very quickly and we can easily duplicate this. So what we can do to easily duplicate this is we'll just click on contents, grab the pen tool again, and this time we can draw another path. Now we have two lines just like that. And we can continue to add a few more if you want. So you know we can add one down here. So now we have multiple random lines in here that are quickly animating around our composition and you can go crazy with this you can add as much as you want but it just adds a nice level of detail to our composition and for our fifth and final technique it would just want to be complete without talking about some glitch effects so we're going to create some awesome glitch effects so for our fifth technique i want to be able to glitch out our composition but i want to be able to you know make it more obtrusive as you can see we have these darker lines in here I'm gonna show you how we can do this very easily so it's kind of a two-step glitch effect that we're gonna create but it's really easy so let's go to layer new solid and we'll call it fractal click OK and then we'll go to effect noise and grain and we're gonna grab fractal noise and we'll set the fractal type to max we'll come here to uh, noise type set it to block and we'll increase the contrast to like 300 and lower down the brightness until you get like these solid pixels. Then let's go ahead and open up the transform and uncheck uniform scaling. Increase the scale width up to like, you know, a thousand or so. And that's fine. And then we'll come here to evolution options. We'll all click the stopwatch for random seed and we'll type in time asterisk five and we'll click off. And I'll just create some nice glitches in here. And you could be a little bit faster if you want, but I'll keep it here. I'm going to go to effect keying and I'm gonna grab color range. I'm just gonna select the black and boom, there's that. Then I'm gonna go to effect color correction tint and I'm gonna set the map to white to like black or a dark gray. I'll just do that, awesome. And then I'll hit T on my keyboard for opacity and I'll set the opacity down to 25%. And then I can put this layer underneath our titles and now we have this nice glitch inside of our composition and it looks pretty cool. But if we want to take this a step further, what we could do is grab our fractal layer, go up to layer pre-compose, and we can call it map, move all attributes into new composition, click OK. Then what we'll do is go create a new adjustment layer by going up to layer, new adjustment layer. And we'll go to effect, distort, and we're gonna grab displacement map. Change that displacement map layer to our map layer. And we can adjust our horizontal displacement values and our vertical displacement values. And here's what we have, and we have our composition glitched out. And just as a bonus technique, what we can do is create another adjustment layer. And we'll go to Effect, Noise and Grain, and we'll add Noise. And we'll set this noise up to like 8%, uncheck, use Color Noise. Um, and you can even go a little bit uh, further in there. Just So this Noise effect will just add a little bit more texture to our composition. And it's very nice to be able to do that. So here's all of our motion graphic tricks put together. And remember, you don't have to use them all at once. I just wanted to show a few motion graphic tricks that you can use uh, in a lot of different situations. So that concludes our tutorial. I hope you found this video helpful. If you're new to our YouTube channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel, you can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links will be in the video description. And always be creative.